Hi guys, one of the people asked me to discuss oncogenes and tumor suppressor genes and, and I think this is really interesting topics, maybe a little bit of confusing between biochemistry and pathology. What you need to know about oncogenes first. Oncogenes, they are genes. So you know, there is a word called gene, right? So genes, oncogenes are genes encode, encode protein so they are basically genes in code proteins that stimulate so this is the word that stimulate what stimulate cell cycle okay to so stimulate cell cycle on uh, the opposite of the opposite of this another spectrum is another genes called tumor suppressor genes so these kind of genes also look at this basic the same thing in code proteins encode the proteins but not stimulate inhibit okay so encode the protein inhibit inhibit cell cycle okay this is this is the first definition what other things usually the gene here the mutation of the gene you need a mutation in only one copy okay you need a mutation in one copy in one copy of allele in one copy of allele to form the oncogene to form the oncogene. You need only mutation in one copy of allele to form the oncogene. While here, while on the right side, which is tumor suppressor gene, mutation, you need mutation in both copies. In both copies, I mean, so two copies. So in both or two copies to form, to form the tumor suppressor gene. So we call this as one hit, I mean just one copy, and we call tumor suppressor genes its two hit process. Two hit process means I will discuss what exactly mean by two hit process in biochemistry stuff, but you need to know just there is mutation in one copy there is mutation in one copy of the allele in case of oncogenes, while in case of tumor suppressor genes you need mutation in two copies of tumor suppressor into copies of alleles to form tumor suppressor gene. Okay, so what are the products? Now the product here, the protein again, the oncogenes. Now you have an oncogene, which is basically mutation in one copy of the allele. So the product will be protein more active. The product will be more active protein, right? You will be, you will have more active protein. But here on the tumor suppressor gene mutation in both copies you will get nothing so no protein no protein products no protein products okay so we we call this gain function because the protein will be more active and we call tumor suppressor gene as loss function okay loss function again need to know the headline very well so the so there is a term called the proteins on here so you will have the proteins in case of oncogenes stimulate the cell cycle while the proteins in cases tumor suppressor gene inhibit the cell cycle how you will get these proteins by mutation in oncogene so the process for for formation of oncogene and the process of forming the tumor suppressor gene, you need a mutation in one copy of the allele and to form oncogene, or you need a mutation in two copies of the allele to form one, to form tumor suppressor gene. As a result of this mutation in the gene, the product, which is the protein product, the product will be more active protein, we call this gain function, while in tumor suppressor gene, the product, no protein product loss functions. Guy, please, guys, please, what I want you to know is two terms. There is a gene, there is a gene responsible, so there is a gene, a gene responsible for forming a protein. If this gene, so there is here a gene, okay, responsible for forming a protein, if this also here gene or allele get a mutation, get a mutation, the product which is also protein product more active or here will be less protein product loss of function. Okay?